Hello everybody, Jake O here today, and today I'm making a video that I wanted to make for a long time. And what I'm talking about in this video is how I feel, right? It's not how anybody else has to feel, it's not anybody else's life, right? This is my life, and what I say is strictly my opinion. Now, before you guys ask, I just had my vitamins, my one a day, so that's why my my tongue is blue or mouth is blue, so I just wanna get that out of there. Today I wanna to talk about something that I really don't talk about very often, um, or at all, because I don't really like to talk about this stuff. But I also like to put my business out there instead of people constantly asking me like, Jake, you know, how do you feel about this? What do you think about this? What about these topics? So primarily what I'm talking about today has to do with religion, politics, my beliefs, and I don't even know if this is allowed on YouTube, but this is what I believe in. And you have to remember something. At the end of the day, I'm a father. I'm a father of a beautiful 20-month-year-old girl who's about to be 21 months soon, shortly, obviously. And um, my life revolves around her. But over the course of time, and especially recently, I've been watching a lot of videos that are very political or very religious, and I have my own beliefs, and I have my own theories, and I want you guys to know the type of person that I am. I'm a very sympathetic person, I'm very empathetic, but before I started this in, in this industry, I think that I was very... I'm not going to say super homophobic, but I believe I was homophobic. And that was wrong, right? And once I got into my field, I realized how amazing the gay community is, the LBGTQ plus community. And we are all people in our own rights. Um, I'm definitely going to get into the talks about, again, politics and the videos I see about, you know, talking about transgenders transgender individuals um, and my opinion and so on and so forth and now before I get into this a lot of people might misconstrued what I'm trying to say you might try to cancel me you might try to get rid of me I'm a firm believer in letting people live their lives the way they want to live their lives as long as it's not affecting other people if you are hurting other people the way you are living your life then you should question what you are doing this is not specifying anything. This is not talking about anything specific, but here's an example. If you rob a bank, right, you're hurting people. You're potentially putting other people's lives in danger at the bank. You're robbing from a business that you're hurting other people and sh you shouldn't do that. A person choosing to live their life and feel that this is the gender that they wanna live that isn't hurting you and isn't hurting anybody else. So why are so many people fixated on correcting transgender individuals that say they wanna be a woman or wanna be a man? If that is what they wanna be and that's what they believe in, then more power to them. We, should, we as people should not control what other people do with their lives. As long as it's not, again, something that's hurting other people. So if you're doing that in the aspect of hurting other people, and I'm not gonna give specifics, but there's ways that you can hurt people by lying about who you are. So I'm gonna leave that at that. When it comes to religious beliefs, I grew up Jewish. I grew up, you know, I went to Hebrew school for a few years, I was bar mitzvah, and my grandma, she wanted me to marry a Jewish woman. After a while, and this is the biggest thing that made me give up on religion, was school shootings. And being the empathetic person that I am, especially if I, uh, that I'm a father now, right? That is the biggest thing. But when I was in Texas, there was, first of all, there's obviously many school shootings. There's many things that are, are tragic situations, but before I get into this, I just want to say, 
I respect anybody's beliefs and their religion, and I'm not gonna sit here and fight with anybody about what you believe in. So please respect what I believe in because that is what I believe in. And I choose to live that life and I don't need anybody to correct me or say, well, this is what it says in the Bible and this is this and this is that. Like, I will be honest with you, I don't believe any of it. And that's the truth. So back to the Texas situation. So I was in Texas and there was a school shooting in Uvalda, Texas, which was very far from me. But I saw the faces of these innocent kids. And as a father, like I'm getting chills right now, but as a father, knowing your kids in danger and, and, and police force are not letting you in and you have to just sit there and hope that your kid's all right. It's very, very, very difficult. After that happened, my belief in an active God has gone away. Now, I'm not atheist. I'm not telling you that I don't believe that there's a God. I believe there is a God. I believe God created the heavens, the hells, the world that we live in and gave us this amazing life, right? But I don't think God has the ability to change any outcome currently in our world, in our universe, right? Is God the creator of all universe? The universe is very, very big, right? So and now people might say, well, Jake, um, what's God supposed to do? You know, come down to earth and, and take care of the shooter? No, no, because then people would realize that God has the ability to come to earth and people would start I don't know, changing, doing things differently. But if God had the ability to change outcomes, why not change the outcome and mentality of the shooter's mindset to not do that? If you think, and this is me, my opinion of people that think that innocent kids dying is a part of life or has to be done, I think you're a fool. I think you're crazy. No innocent child should die. Ever. Ever. It's very, very hard and difficult as a parent. And I said a prayer for the kids and for the family. I didn't pray to God because I knew God wasn't going to do anything. Right? And you can watch this video and say to me, Jake, you're full of sin, you don't believe in God, this, 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 and that. I'm not programmed, I'm not wired, and I'm not gonna follow what other people request me to follow in. The day that God wants to speak to me, whatever gender God is, if it's a gender, has the right to speak to me, and I'm here. If you believe you spoke to God and God spoke to you, and that's factual information from you, then that's great. But right now, God has never spoken to me, even if I requested it. And you might say, well, Jake, did you pray to God? No, I'm not gonna pray to God and ask for different outcomes because that's not what God does. God is the creator of everything. And I'm not, I'm not trying to persuade anybody, this is my, ideology. This is what I believe in. If you believe in God can can make miracles happen, more blessings to you. But I don't. I believe in good karma. I believe in bad karma. I believe in luck. And luck has a lot to do with a lot of things in life. And also success in life is from people who go out and do something with their lives and make something of their lives. So that's pretty much my political beliefs. You can ask me any questions you want. That's perfectly fine. Um, I don't go to church. I've been to church once. Um, Jewish church I've been to many times. And I'm very skeptical 
on all the stories, the Bible, everything. I'm very, very skeptical. And I'm going to tell you why. Let me ask you a question. So I have a Galaxy S8 tablet. It's a 14.9 inch tablet, 120 hertz screen, 4K display, the thinnest tablet in the world. It's thinner than my finger this way, right? If I took that tablet and traveled in the past 50 years, obviously, hypothetically speaking, you know, you can't travel in the past, but if I did that and I showed people that tablet, that I mean, be luck. What what would you think they would do to me? Just think about it for a second, and then I'll tell you what they'll do to me. Let me get these dogs real quick. What they would do to me is they would execute me straight then and there. I don't know when it was, but our justice system was taking X amount of steps, turning around, and shooting somebody. If you ever been, I've never been to a, a third world country, but... I've spoken to people from th third world countries that live in a life that you can't even fathom, that literally there's no justice, um, everything's corrupt, people rob you, steal from you, there's just no order in these other countries and it's, it's, it's just crazy to see. So being in America, you know, I'm very fortunate, we're very fortunate people if you're watching this from America, that there is, um, that there's definitely order. But back to the tablet situation, years centuries and centuries ago first of all when somebody was sick right and a woman was able to cure that person right they were considered a witch and what happened with witches were quote these are from stories again there's no like you can see paintings of people being burned alive but if you were a witch, you, you were burned alive. You were burned at the stake, you were burned however, right? I think that people were very ignorant and susceptible to technology and advancement and ad adaption, ad adapting in the world. I mean, they stoned people to death centuries ago, right? So humanization has adapted so much right we can't just kill somebody there's consequences there's a justice system right not that i'm the, the whole justice system is a, a whole another story which i might get into today i'm not sure yet but what i'm saying and where i'm going with this is i think that stuff is misconstrued over time and we're talking thousands of years for example, Jesus Christ, right? Jesus Christ, the Son of God, um, the Almighty God Himself, whatever you believe in, right? I personally don't believe God has ever put Himself in a human form or gave His power to anybody else. That's my belief. Again, you're entitled to your own belief. Because at the end of the day, and this is something my uncle told me, who my uncle's a smart man, but when he told me this, it made sense, right? People said that Jesus walked on water, right? But what if Jesus didn't walk on water? What if Jesus made a raft? What if Jesus made a boat? So I go up to people sometimes and you know I talk about this story and I said, if you put a circle of 30 girls around in a circle, and you whispered to the girl on the left and you said, I slept with 15 girls, right? The time it gives back to you after it passes the other 29 girls, what do you think is gonna be said into your ear? Probably not what you put out, right? So that's what I mean by misconstrued with time. We're talking about something that's been passed around for two minutes versus something that's passed around for thousands of years, right? So, I'm, I'm a big believer in science, and I love technology, and if something's backed up by science, then I'm very much willing to believe it, right? But I'm not willing to believe in something that was written down by man and changed over time and handed out to people to believe. My belief is religion is very cult-like. 
And what I mean by that is it's about pretty much convincing people to believe in something because you were convinced to believe in it and it's been passed down from generation to generation. Now, I also believe religion is one of the biggest reasons for war as well, besides money and women. Um, so I don't really care for religion. And you might say, oh, Jake, God hates you, this, 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 and that. And if, you're, if you believe that, that's fine. I know God doesn't hate me. I know God loves me and I love God, right? But God is not my first priority. My daughter is my first priority, right? And when I, you know, I'm on dating apps and when people say I love Jesus more than anybody, God comes first, this, this, and that. I can't agree with it. I just can't. That's not what I personally believe in. So even though I would date somebody who is religious, I would only date somebody who's religious if they respect my ideas and my religious beliefs. Kids these days. Um, and that's it. And I wouldn't try to change their opinion and hopefully they wouldn't try to change my opinion. So that's pretty much where it comes to religion. Just like I'm very, like when we celebrate Christopher Columbus Day, right? Christopher Columbus is the founder of America. Well, there's, there's proven evidence that says Christopher Columbus killed a bunch of Native Americans and acquired land that was already founded and didn't find it. So, not that the Native American people that were there were holy people or the greatest people in the world, you know, it was a fight. And that's how it was back then. There was no deeds, there was no titles, there was nothing like that. You killed people when you wanted something. So, am I going to believe stuff in a time where people just kill each other for fun and games and, and, and there was no order. There was nothing back then. What's my dog doing? Look at this. So I, I don't I don't want to live my life in the past. I appreciate what was led up to this situation that got me this freedom and got me, you know, this great life and I do appreciate it and respect it. But I'm not gonna spend my life dedicating my life and my life that should be going to my daughter to the past, right? History is very important, it is, right? But living in the past is not important. I think about the present and I think about what the future can hold, short-term and long-term goals, right? Let's move on to politics. Politics is so vast. It is so much to talk about. Um, I'm a person, and you might hate me for this, I never voted. I don't plan to ever vote. Because, and, and I'm not a Republican, and I'm not a Democrat. I'm neither. I'm neither. And the reason for that is because there's a lot of things Democrats do that I don't agree with, and there's a lot of things that Republicans do that I don't agree with. And I'm not going to get into specific topics because... You guys can crucify me on what I say, and I'm not going to say the wrong thing, even though I have a voice, I have an opinion, and I should be able to speak my voice and my opinion, but I also care about other people's feelings, and, and I'm not here to hurt other people. So I will watch what I say and how I say it, because I have made mistakes in the past, and I have hurt people's feelings with the words that I say, and they have been used against me. So I will be very wise and think before I speak because I don't want to cause a uproar, an outlash, um, anything. I don't want to cause that. I don't want to hurt anybody. That is the last thing that I want to do. I care about people immensely. But what I do with my life and how I run my life is my choice. So there's so many things to talk about. Abortions presidencies, gender roles, feminism. It just goes on and on about politics. But I, didn't, I never voted. I choose not to vote because every president and every election that I've ever seen, we have presidents that promise to do specific things and it never comes to fruition. So I will not vote. You might say, well, it's your right to vote. It's my right to choose what I want to do as well, right? 
that's that's called freedom freedom to do as you please right so regards to other things like abortions I have so many opinions on so many things I think bringing a child into this world is the biggest blessing in the world but I also feel that people have the right to choose what they want to do with their own bodies so yo Jeff. so I think we live in a world and society where we always care what other people do and we tend to not mind our own business right I think sometimes like I said if it's not directly affecting you then you should mind your own business right now I'm not telling you that if some old lady's getting robbed that you should look the other way and not help her that that is not what I'm trying to say what I'm trying to say is if a woman is having a child and she's been you know I'm gonna tell you what I believe in and then I'm gonna tell you that what people choose to do with their own body is their own decision that's what I also believe in what I believe in is if that somebody is perfectly capable of taking care of a child and you're pregnant as long as you're not pregnant because of specific reasons such as rape incest whatever then that child should be born and given a chance in life right even if you are 16 years old and pregnant and you feel that that child is going to ruin your life which is a good chance that it could if your parents are willing to raise that child and allow you to be live your teenage years and your early 20s then that child should be born but you also really shouldn't bring a child into this world if you're not married if you're not and I and I wasn't married I brought a child in this world but there's many things that I believe that these kids are so bad there's many requirements that I believe that you should have in order to have a child but again this is my opinion you don't have to listen to me or anything, but you should have your own house. You should be able to live off of one income. You should be both mentally stable and have a great relationship. You should know each other for at least a year and, and you should be married, right? And you should also be at least 25, 26 years old. That's my opinion and that's what I believe a, a higher, likely more fit parent would be with all those qualifications. That's my opinion, right? But again, I wouldn't judge somebody if they chose to abort their child. And something that's very interesting to me is, you know, I talked with my ex-partner, the mother of my daughter, and we talked about before our daughter was born is what would we do if, our, if we found out our daughter had an extra chromosome, you know, something wasn't right and everything. And I'm not gonna tell you what we decided, but we agreed that we would do the same thing. And that's something that you really have to communicate with your partner because those situations could be really tough, especially if you find out towards the last minute, right? So enough about that, enough about abortions and stuff like that. Regards to different sides and stuff, I don't know what a liberal is, I don't know what a conservative is, I don't know what any of these things are, and I don't really care to figure it out. Um, but I also would like to be with an individual with the same political beliefs as me because I don't want somebody that like, believes like, yes, you should you know, do this and do that and I don't believe in this and this and that. So, and then we can talk about you know, feminism and, and do I believe that women should be equal to men? Yes, I, I completely agree. But then I also believe that there's things that men are better at than women, and there's things that women are better at than men. Like, that's just how life is. I don't think one is better than the other. And, you know, there's also talks about traditional roles. If you're two people that want to be in traditional roles, who are we to judge that situation? There's a, I think men are master manipulators, but if a man is giving the woman an option and says, hey, 
do you want to go out and get a job or would you like to stay home, cook, clean the house and take care of the children? If she chooses to do that, you guys can't say, or, or people can't say, hey, you, you're letting this man control you and stuff like that. No, you, you were given an option, right? You chose that option. Am I a person that empowers women to work and, and to be independent to an extent? Yes, 100% sure. Because I want to see, you know, God forbid a relationship doesn't work out, a woman still can carry herself without having to put herself back in a situation with a man who has to be fully supportive um, of her. So it's good to have an education. It's good to have a backup plan and money saved up and stuff like that. So that is something that men do. They, they manipulate. But I think it's so crazy that in society now it's about men blaming women and women blaming men and if you guys see my last video about dating apps and everything like that more people are single nowadays than ever before and i think that uh, there's so many situations if you guys are familiar with the me too movement which i highly believe in um but i also don't believe that a man going up to a woman and giving her a compliment is harassment right I do believe a lot of men sexualize women, that I agree, but I don't believe all men are bad, just like I don't believe all women are bad. I, I get it, I'm a very opinionated individual, but I'm also a firm believer in many things. I believe women need men, and I believe men need women, and that's how society should be. Um, now you might say, well Jake, why are you only talking about men and women? Why aren't you talking about other genders? or the LBGTQ plus community. I don't like to speak too much about the LBGTQ plus community because I don't know much about the LBGTQ plus community. So if I say something out of line, I look unintelligent, I look stupid, I, and, I, and I might come off as ignorant and a jerk. So I'd rather not make my comments. Again, what I said at the beginning of this video was if somebody wants to identify as a different gender or pronouns or whatever else it entails, I respect that, right? If you say to me, hey, I wanna be called this, as long as it's not something inappropriate, then I don't mind calling you it, right? But I won't, if somebody miss, I don't know if this is the right word, so I apologize. If somebody misgenderizes you, you shouldn't really be offended about it right i mean if you don't tell somebody something right how are they supposed to know unless it's common sense which is okay right if it's common sense like i would never if i met a, a trans woman and she looked like a woman i wouldn't ask her and be like are you a guy or were you a guy i would just call her a woman because it's common sense, right? And this woman who was previously a man is not hurting me by being a woman, right? It's not like this woman went out with me and told me, hey, you know, like, if you don't disclose information about yourself and you're trying to date somebody, I do think that is wrong because you should be honest with people. But at the end of the day, if you're not dating somebody, nobody has to specify what they previously were or or whatever so i am definitely um very open-minded um especially because of my work and everything like that where a lot of people are rude and i see videos about you know people trying to correct people on their gender and stuff like that and my opinion is i think it's wrong but if you're going to sit there and debate with somebody and you're going back and forth it then becomes an argument and I think the more we bring stuff into the light is the more things come out, right? The more that we make aware of situations is the more things can turn out wrong and turn out ugly. So there was a, a topic about, you know, are trans lives in danger? And to be honest with you, there's, there's so many people's lives in danger and I'm not taking anything away from the trans community. There's neo-Nazis out there. There's, there's KKK members that hate black people. There's, again, people who hate gay people, homophobia. So 
I think that, again, not taking away anything. And I'm fully supportive of so many different communities, but at the end of the day, I don't see him and hers and, and them and theys and blacks and whites and Asians and and it doesn't matter to me. What matters to me if is if you are a good person. If you we all have a heart, we all have a brain, right? I don't look at somebody and say that person's Indian. That person's... No. I don't look at people like that. I think everybody deserves respect. I think everybody deserves awareness and acknowledgement. Right. But there's a big thing when it comes to caring yourself about who you are. And we live in a very judgmental world where people can just look at you and assume that you're something. And let me give you an example. I've worked out with women before that I was strictly platonic friends with. I have guys come up to me, hey bro, how'd you get her, ba ba ba. Oh, is that your girlfriend, blah, blah. These are all assumptions and these are all judgmental things. I could be hanging out with five girls and guess what people are gonna assume? They're gonna assume that I'm gay, right? I think the judgment of people needs to stop. It's very, very bad. And I think the people who judge the most are the most jealous and then the most people that just don't like their lives. And I could talk so much about mental health and, and followers and stuff like that, but this video is primarily talking about politics and religion and my beliefs, right? So, you know, people ask me all the time, you know, ask me like, they're like, hey, because Sex, like, let's talk sexuality for a second, right? People want to know my sexuality. I'm not, I'm not, se like, sexual fluid. Like, I'm not telling you that, uh, I, like, I sometimes, this is, this is, my career has been crazy because I have to literally put on this kind of, like, act. And I'm not trying to be G for P. I'm not trying to be like that. And... If I was so, quote unquote, bisexual or gay, I would have made so many films and videos with men and I haven't, right? The only video that I actually made with a guy, the reason why I made it was one, because I made promises and two, because that's what my fans wanted and I wanted to be able to deliver. And even though, you know, it's one time, at least I did it, right? At least I tried it. So a lot of people, you know, ask me, they're like, are you straight? Are you bi? Are you gay? Like, what, what are you, right? And if you guys followed me from my career, what started in 2012, you would realize that I've only dated women. I've only been with women, right? And it's not, there's nothing in me, like a lot of people are like, Jake, you play with toys, you put someone's hand in your butt, you put fingers there, this, 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 and that. Yeah, that is true, right? But doing those things do not make you gay. They don't even make you bisexual, right? What is the definition of gay? What is the definition of bisexual, right? And we're not talking gay, happy gay. I. It, it, this is my belief. This might not be the definition. My my definition of gay is when you like somebody of the same gender, you're able to love that person and be with that person. That's my definition of gay, right? I don't even think if a man has sex with another man, he's gay. I think if the man has sex with another man and loves it and enjoys it and for the term gay only does it with men, then he's gay. Um, in regards to bisexual, if he enjoys having sex with men and women and he loves both men and, men and women, then he's bisexual. But I don't really like labels and there's a lot of people who don't enjoy being called labels and there's a lot of people that do. And there's a lot of people that are gay or bisexual and don't want to identify that as that because they're afraid of what their family thinks, they're afraid of what people will think of them. and. At the end of the day, we have to respect people. We don't have to force people 
to admit that they're bisexual or gay. Why does that bother you? Why do you care what somebody else is? It shouldn't matter. It really shouldn't matter. So that's that's pretty much sorry you guys didn't I didn't say what I am sorry so if I identified myself I would say that I'm straight now is it capable am I capable of making videos with men in the future probably but there has to be some type of attraction and there has to be some type of bond and so far I have not found that with anybody who's willing to do those things on camera so until I can find that person, it is what it is. Now you might say, well, why not get with someone who's already in this field? Yes, again, it, it comes from a bond, right? Just like I wouldn't let a random girl put her hand in my back door. I just wouldn't allow it because I don't trust that person. I don't have a bond with the person. My daughter or my mother, I allowed to do that because I trusted that individual, right? I knew, I knew that individual would care for me and, and be nice about it and everything like that. So that's that. So that has been my talk about religion, politics, and sexuality all in one. I wasn't talk, I didn't really want to talk about sexuality, but if you guys do have any questions about what I've talked about, feel free to let me know. If you don't want to follow me anymore after this, I completely understand, but these are my beliefs again. And now let me apologize because a lot of people are very, very sensitive and I'm not here to hurt people. I told you I'm a very empathetic and sympathetic person. So let me issue this apology if I said anything that was offensive in any way, shape or form. So I just wanna say, if you watch this entire video and anything that I said was offensive in any way, shape or form, I like to apologize with my deepest condolences because my intentions is to never ever hurt anybody. I am a father, I am a lover, I'm a caring person, and the last thing I wanna do is hurt anybody's feelings. But I also am able and want to be able to speak my mind. And I should be able to speak my mind because I'm a man, I'm a person, I'm a human being, and I should be able to say what's on my mind, but I also do have to take in the accountability that if I hurt somebody, that I need to apologize for it. And as people, if you see somebody apologize for something, you need to acknowledge that that person is sincere or not sincere. And that's your opinion if you believe that that person is sincere or not. But I'm issuing an apology before I even post this video because if I did hurt somebody, that is not my intention. And like I said, I'm sorry. So this has been a very different type of video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys all have a great day. Take care, guys.